Afternoon everyone. What a glorious day it is today. Too good for photography. Well, hopefully not. I thought, why not change it up a little bit this week? So I've come to a place that I've had my eye on for quite a long time, but never got round to photographing. Place very close to where I actually grew up. Uh, just down the cliff tops from St. B's Head. So today I'm gonna focus on a little bit of intimate landscape photography. So just to put you in the picture of where we're at today, I mentioned on a few vlogs ago that we don't have amazing coastline here in Cumbria, but there's one or two patches that are worth checking out. And I would say this is definitely one of them. I'm just about maybe five or six miles up the coast from where I live. And this is, well, where we're heading today is Fleswick Bay, which is just around the corner from St. Bay's Head. And the geology around this area is really fascinating. And my hope is that I can get some good close-up intimate shots using some of the shapes that have been created in the sandstone. And I mean, as I said, I don't really get an awful lot of opportunity to shoot this sort of stuff. But when I do, I really enjoy it. You know, you spend hours just shuffling along a beach with your head down, uh, looking for little patterns and shapes and whatnot. So... As I said in the intro, if you're a fan of the Vista stuff, uh, there's, there's not going to be any of that today, I'm afraid. But you've got to change it up a little bit now and again and broaden your horizons a little bit. So that's what we're doing. Right then, folks, let me just sit myself down here, out of the sun, so you can see me. Yeah, wow, what a place. I'm sure I've been here uh, when I was little, this particular part of the beach, but I can't remember it. And coming back here from a photographic perspective with fresh eyes, obviously, you're looking at it from a, a completely different angle. And there's so many opportunities here that uh, I'm definitely going to be back here in future because the other thing as well I guess is that it's, it's a totally different type of shooting than the sort of big wide vista stuff and up in the mountains you know you can come here and really immerse yourself in the landscape I mean I've spent the last half an hour there just nose to my feet almost just shuffling along the beach and just amazing all the patterns that you start to see I mean I'm no expert at this type of photography, I, I, you know, I, I'll be perfectly honest with you, but I really enjoy it every time I, I come out and do it. So yeah, this year I'm going to resolve to get a lot more of this sort of photography done. The area I'm concentrating on at the moment, because as I say, I've walked up and down this beach for about the last half hour and this little spot here with this, uh, it's like a sandstone shelf, uh, seems to have the most opportunity uh, to get a composition. I'll just spin you around so you can see it just a sec so you can see it here and you can see where the falling water from the cliff top above I will assume that uh, is what's causing these channels but I mean the these little ridges are absolutely amazing to work with They're like little mountains almost and I've come across this one uh, rock here that's been well, I assume thrown up the beach. There's a couple on the other side of this little uh, patch of sandstone, but I'm concentrating on this one for now. 
the sun is sort of 90 degrees to me at the moment and there's a large rock uh, just off to my left hand side where I'm, I'm shooting this shot and the sun keeps sort of uh, sneaking behind it so what I'm going to do is wait at this spot until the sun just comes round a little further and casts some nice side light across this sandstone shelf and hopefully we can get a good one here I'm I wouldn't say I'm excited about this shot but uh, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how this one turns out because I profess I'm no expert in the close-up stuff I mean if you really want to see great close-up photography go and have a look at David Ward's website it, he is an absolute master at this sort of stuff and if you're watching this and you haven't heard of David Ward then I suggest you get off YouTube for five minutes but uh, but yeah he can he can take some of the most mundane sort of scenes and just make them look absolutely magical and I'd really like to improve that aspect of my photography so we're going to concentrate on this shot and I'll catch up with you in a little bit when this sun pops out I think this little cove here absolutely fascinating the some of the textures and the patterns on this sandstone really really eye-catching i can well imagine a, a shot here with some really nice late light illuminating all these uh trickles of water that are coming down from the cliff uh, i don't think it'll work at this time of the year because the sun's not really in the right position but late winter when it's further off to my left in this shot i think this is one that i'm gonna gonna return to i think Have you got me? Have you got me? The face tracking on this thing's a bit, uh, it's a bit keen. They need to get a software update out for this uh, little pocket too, I think. Anyway, you've got to be quick in this game. That light that I was talking about that was getting blocked uh, by this rock, popped out for about 30 seconds there and I quickly ditched everything and went and got the shot. So I think that's probably going to be the last of the light that we get tonight. Um, looking at the stuff on the back of the camera, mind, it's. I don't think the light is going to be the most important part of this composition. There's some really lovely natural contrast being created by these uh, channels in the sandstone. And obviously having the polarizer on for this sort of shot really helps as well. So it'd be interesting to see how these turn out. I mean, you're never quite sure until you look at them on the PC and process them. But uh, it's been a while since I've been this sort of enthused about uh, a shot that I'm seeing on the back of the camera. Maybe it's just because I don't shoot this sort of stuff very often and uh you know it's a bit different i mean as i was saying earlier i'm you know no expert at this sort of stuff but i've thoroughly enjoyed my afternoon down here i really need to leave more time uh, to come and explore next time i come down because looking at the light that i've had i've, I've maybe cut it a little bit fine tonight but uh yeah it's just really enjoyable to look at the landscape in a different way i mean i almost see this stuff as looking at landscapes in miniature if you like you've got to almost sort of train your brain uh to look at things differently and that can be difficult especially if you you know you're used to shooting sort of one type of landscape photography all the time so yeah it's been really enjoyable uh just a couple of things before i go obviously i'm sure you're all aware the restrictions and whatnot around covid are starting to gradually get lifted my gallery will be open from the 12th of april in keswick so if you popping through Keswick uh, on a day trip or whatever uh, do pop in and say hello uh, it's been a long time since I've seen anyone so really looking forward to that and uh, yeah with restriction the next date with the restrictions easing I think is the 29th when people can go and sort of do leisure activity if you like outside of their local area so I think from the 29th I'm going to be uh, getting back up into the mountains so next video hopefully will be up on the fells back in my sort of more natural habitat if we like but uh yeah i'll see you on the next one keep liking and subscribing and uh yeah take care of yourselves